So iFixit have very kindly sent me these two toolkits for free. So thank you very much iFixit. Make sure you check out the links down below to these items. I'm going to do a review on these and have a look at them and just see what I think. If you own one of these toolkits, we've got the ProTech toolkit and the Manta Precision bit set. Please comment down below as well and tell me what you think of them. I'd like to hear your feedback about your experience with these kits as well. So they're, they're pretty heavy. They feel substantial. So we'll get them out and have a look. All right, so I've got some bits of tape which I've already cut. Let's slide this out. I certainly have gone into the packaging side quite a lot, haven't I? Is that part of the box? Or no, just slide it out from here. And there's the case. So that's a nice solid case. It feels like ABS, so that just lifts off. It's got magnets to hold it together in the corners. Yep, so it takes some, it's magnetic. No clips, which is good because clips break. But they can break anyway. And here we go. So this comes with some snacks. No, seriously, you don't need these. Don't, don't need them. They're not good. And here's the bit set. So how those go? They all just sit in there. Nice. Just the frame holds in place, which is good. I quite like the frame, the frame idea, actually. That's nice, nice. Because I've had these other ones got like plastic clips, and they just don't hold on. They fall out. Um, you know, other sets I've got, you know, not necessarily anything else. It's the first iFixit set I've ever had, so yeah. So let's have a look. So we've got lots of bits. There's actually a guide on the actual panel here which says what they all are. Let's get a closer look. Okay, here we go. That should be in focus and everything. So there's the whole set. You can put on a freeze frame net and have a look. I'm going to be trying to explain every single bit, but there's quite a wide selection there. So we've got star bits. Um, in hex, I think security hex because it's got the hole in the center. Got flats, got some stars which are probably um, for iPhone stuff like that or MacBooks. Some more flats, some more security hex. Got the spade bit with the security spade, posi drive ones, and uh, some square heads. Tri wing, lots of security bits. Some little in hex ones or little spanner ones, you know, hexagonal. Apparently these particular type here, these are used for doing wind nuts. I've always wondered about that, because I've seen these before in other sets, and I thought, what's that for? I never figured it out. Yeah, it's obvious, really, you think about it. So we've got some adapters as well here, from those sizes to, to like socket set size, so that's quite nice. What's this? Is this a magnet? Yes, that's a magnet. So if you drop a screw somewhere, you can get it out. Nice. Got this other smaller size adapter, and that is a small size adapter for these other small bits. So it's going from that larger size hex to the smaller size hex for these bits, so you can put your smaller bits in it. And also you've got the actual screwdrivers themselves. This is quite a big beefy one. That feels really nice. That glides. It actually glides. It's got a ball race. Yeah, that is way too nice to be metal to metal contact. That's that's an a ball bearing. Beautiful. And so you can just spin it. It's got a standard hex size in there for the larger bits. And this has got the same. Feels like it's got a ball race. Yep, that's got a bearing in there, right? That just feels beautiful. That feels really nice. And it's also got a smaller hex for these smaller bits. This just screams quality. The whole thing just screams quality. It's not one of these cheap Chinese sets you get. This is um, very nice. What's this piece here? It's an adapter as well. So it's like a, socket, a square socket adapter to a hex adapter. So you can put the bits onto a socket. So I thought about going to sockets and going from sockets, which is quite nice. Uh, so I've got some more trimmings up here. What's that bit there? It's an interesting one. It's like a flat crosshead. See that? A bit of a strange bit. I've never seen one of those before. Let's have a closer look so we can actually tell you what the bits are, shall we? Here we go. You know, maybe freeze frame or something. There's a close up of all the bits. It's got uh, Imperial hit Security Hex Oval, Oval bit, really. Never seen those before. Got triangular bits. So you got the hexes. And I'm running out of space on my desk, there we go. All right, so that's all the bits you can see. If you freeze frame at certain points, you can probably see them all. Hopefully I've covered them all. Probably not very well, but yeah. So thank you very much iFix for sending me that set. So let's take a look at the other set. So don't forget there'll be links down below to iFixit to go to the P2 
purchase page for these. Still sealed, that's important me. Oh. <laughs> right. So this one folds up. This one's in a bag. So that's a nice pouch instead. Which then folds out. So this is more like a repairer. Yeah, cool, nice. Um, the box design, that's also magnetic. I think this is the same box that Dave got recently, actually. I took pee on him trying to open something up. <laughs> so that's magnetic that sits inside. So I didn't actually take that out of the, the bag. And the case is also magnetic. So they like their magnets, aren't they? And uh, just for those that want to know about plastics, ABS number seven. Acrylic nitrile butadiene styrene for those that don't know about plastic. So we've got an extension shaft here, which is like a flexible shaft. Yep, so you just fit the bits on there, and actually if you've got an awkward corner you can get into, you can bend it around and get in there. Very handy to have. The amount of times I wish I had something like that. Happens a lot. So you've got another one of these little screwdrivers, the same as the one that's in the other set, I think. Looks identical. And that's, again, nice. It's also got these flats on here too. But no triangular shape. No triangular shape, actually. I thought it was flats on the sides, but now it's triangular, you can see. Nice. Gives you a bit of, bit of grip, I suppose. You've got some edges to grab hold of. But yeah, this, these feel really nice, these screwdrivers. Beautiful. So let's have a look at the actual set. There you go, there's the actual set. Again, it's very similar to the other one with, with what the bits it's got in there. I'm just going to let you freeze frame it and have a look and see what's actually there. See so if there's any of these things you actually need yourself. So it's got a wide range again. Square heads and cross head. That's the weird cross head one again. Security torques and nut driver ones. What are these ones? Yeah, weird ones. It's like a blade, like it's got like a. It's got lines down the outside of the screw, obviously. It's like another security thing. All these security bits. So I don't know what devices these would be used on. Some might maybe the Xbox, stuff like that, or PlayStation. It's got some triangular bits as well, standard cross heads, tri wings. So yeah, this is probably exactly what you need if you were doing work on probably game consoles, I'm guessing, most likely. Very nice kit. Then over here we've got the pouch side of it. So the pouch here, it has um, little like guitar pick things, you know, which are getting you good for getting screens off. It's got these elasticated bits here to tuck them in. Um, so we've got a nice iFixit ceramic tweezer. That's quite powerful actually, it's quite that's quite good. So if you need to grip something, pretty sure it's ceramic. It could be plastic, I'm not sure. Um, the SD safe tweezers, got some angle ones, straight one. That's a flat blade, so you can grip things quite nicely. Um, little tip blade spudger or dice pointer. Here's a different one. Oh, look, at that. it's got a hook on one end and a blade on the other, getting into things. Nice. Got a nice feeling. That's, that feels quite sturdy. Um, another little metal spudger. It feels quite good actually, it feels quite strong. The one I've got up here on my shelf here doesn't feel anything like that. And then we've got a nice little blade spudger to get in there. It's quite narrow, a bit of stainless steel blade. So it actually gets quite thin at the point there. So that allows you to get into screens and things like that, in between case elements. So we've got some other little spudgers over here. Got three of those, because these are basically consumable items in a way. Um, being when the plastic ones, I mean, you want them to be soft because you don't want to break the thing you're working on, you don't want to crack a screen or damage the casing, so they have to be soft, which makes them consumable in a way. So these um, be nylon or something, most likely, I think they're probably nylon, and they're quite sharp pointed. Nice, right, so you can get into screen edges or case edges of these, and you push it in there and then lever it open, and that sort of stuff. Usually, you just want to get the thing opening up a little bit, and then they start to open. Depends on what it is, obviously. And then we've got a vacuum sucker thing. Grabbing all the screens, you're splitting cases apart on like phones or whatever. You know, you stick it on the screen and you've got a little thing to pull up on. It's quite a rigid plastic compared to the other ones. Well, it's more rigid than normal, which is good because other ones tend to be a bit too soft sometimes. And then up here, ESD strap. 
and as Dave said, not, none of this wireless rubbish. <laughs> so yeah, ESD strap. So you stick that around your wrist when you work on something sensitive and you can clip it to your ground plane or plug it into your mat or whatever. Whatever you've you got set up, you know, look, my power supply's got a grounding place on it, so I can just take that off and plug that into the front of the power supply to the grounding point. Although I don't tend to use ESD myself because I've got an ESD mat here, this is all ESD matted, so this is already grounded. And anything I'm working on, basically, I'm touching this mat already, so I'm already grounded, so I don't, I've never had any issues with ESD. Oh, I could have been lucky, but I know some things are particularly sensitive to it. So, yeah, that's that kit there. Excellent, very nice. Very nice indeed. It, it just screams quality, it really does. So I'll put the snack back in there, I'll have that later on. I'm very happy with that. So that folds over like that, and folds over like that. If I folded something badly, probably. There we go. There's the kit. So I noticed on the back of the packaging for these tool kits, there's actually a list there of all the parts, all the bits that are inside them. So let's actually have a closer look at this. So there you go, there's the full list there. Hopefully you can see it on your screen. If you're on a phone, you probably won't be able to see it. Okay, so it just describes every part that's in there. It's the, obviously the, the Pro Tech Toolkit. It shows all the types and the sizes down here. So yeah, that's that one. And this is the other set, the uh, Manta Driver Bit Set. And that's all the list of all the parts that are in that one. So if there's anything particular you're looking for, have a study of these, see if they're in these kits. As you can see, it's quite an extensive list of uh, all the parts that are included. They cover all sorts of things. Actually, on the front, it mentions all these. So this particular kit is for drones and cameras, um, phones, tablets, toy consoles, so it's like Playstations and stuff like that. Homes, smart home stuff, and that set. And so the other set here, it shows these. So it's a very similar list, just less extensive. But uh, say so this one's got 64 bits in it. And the uh, other kit here has got 112 bits in it with a say 4 mil and a quarter inch driver. So thank you very much iFixit for sending me these two kits. Very much appreciated. I can stick these on my bench here, head them to one side and have all the bits I would normally use. Um, you know, the spudges and stuff will certainly be very handy. I, I use those kinds of things quite a bit. So check out the links down below everyone and uh, support iFixit because they're very generous and sending me these two kits and the links will be there for hopefully going to directly to these items Ooh, another snack okay. don't lose snacks so give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell icon, all that sort of stuff all the usual stuff, you know what you're doing come on, you've been on YouTube for how long now? you should know what you're doing <laughs> I should know what I'm doing yeah, anyway, so thanks a lot iFixit and uh, I'll catch you next time comment down below if you've got one of these kits and you have one and you use them let me know what you think. Catch you later.